Good morning, Cross Stitch friends. I'm Stacy, the 911 Stitcher. Welcome to my channel. To all the returning viewers, thank you so much for coming back and thank you to all the new subscribers as well. I hope you enjoy this video. It is going to be all about cross stitch today and I have a lot to show you. We've got some great new releases. I'm going to show as many as I can at the end of the video. I know I missed some. There's just, there's so many great new releases coming out at market next weekend that it just seems impossible for me to grab, grab them all, but I did get as many as I could. There are video, um, in the previous video, there are new releases that um, I mentioned, uh, Brenda Gervais, there's just, oh, there's just so many. So check out last video and the video before that, I have Hands Across the Sea. I have some really, really great designers in the last two videos that I did. Today is no different. Today we have Kathy Barrick, we have, um, oh gosh, there's, you wanna see the list I have going on my Etsy shop. Um, kitten stitcher. I mean, just my, my wish list is growing and it's getting cray cray. <laughs> so anyway, but today we've got Plum Street. We've got, um, Liz Matthews. We've got Chezzy and me. So stay tuned. I'm going to show those at the end. So anyway, welcome everybody. This is floss tube number 25 for me. Today is Friday, February 28th. And I've got a lot of great stuff to show. So let's get started. Again, this video is about cross stitch and that's usually what I talk about. Sometimes I talk about punch needle, sometimes crochet, but today's going to be mostly cross stitch and some good haul that I'm going to show. Um, I've got questions and I've got news. So this week, just a quick update, um, this week was busy for me and <clears throat> I wasn't home a lot. I wasn't online a lot. So um, like I said, I did miss some new releases, but I'll try and show those next week excitement in our house is spring training started for baseball and my husband and I are very excited. He's an Angels fan. I'm a Yankees fan. And um, we always, when the Yankees come into town, we always try and catch a couple of games. He wears his Angels gear. I wear my Yankee gear. <laughs> and we walk hand in hand through Angel Stadium with my gear on and his gear on and it, it works out great. So... <laughs> I would love to say I was going to get, I'd like to get to some Yankee games this year, but I don't think that's going to happen with my surgeries and stuff coming up. So I'm bummed out because the last couple years I've tried to make it to it. Last year I didn't make it to a game, but before that I've tried to make it to a Yankee game. So we'll see if we can either later on in the season or maybe next year. Or so if not, we'll catch them when they come into, into town. Okay, questions. Candy asked, where do I get Cross Stitcher Magazine from? Because I do have a lot of giveaways of the Cross Stitcher Magazine. I do subscribe to it. You know, it's a great magazine. It's not my favorite, um, but so I usually generally give them away. This is going to be today's giveaway. Um, it is the April 2020 edition, which I'll do later. But Cross Stitcher Magazine, originally I got it from CrossStitcherMag.com. For some reason, that link isn't working, in, or it, it sends you to another link online, and that is like, it's something like www.hobbies-and-crafts.com.uk. It, it is a British magazine, so I originally found it at, it was either Joann's or Barnes & Noble, so <clears throat> my voice is a little weird. Check it out if you want to this magazine again it is it does come from the united kingdom so i have discontinued it it it's a lot of back stitching for me and i don't like back stitching but they have beautiful patterns it's a great magazine sometimes mine come very late like i just got november maybe oh gosh i just got november maybe three or four weeks ago that was last week's giveaway no two weeks ago's giveaway so sometimes they come to me really late and I've decided not to continue the subscription anymore. So anyway, check out Barnes & Noble, check out Joann's or the website that I gave. Just Google Cross Stitcher Magazine and sometimes the, the link should come up. It's like hobbiesandcrafts.co. So um, that's where I get the magazine. Maxine asked if there was any cross stitching stores in Southern California. The closest one for me, I'm in Corona, Eastvale area. The one for me is in Upland. Now, it's been around a long time. The The couple that runs it is a, they are so nice. 
and they do have a lot of charts. Some of them are older charts. Um, they've got a great yarn selection. They've got great floss selection, but I'm not crazy about the fabric selection because it's all kind of jumbled together and you have to dig for it. I don't like to dig. I don't want to squat on the ground. It hurts my leg. It's and the and the shelves are real close together, so you really have to get in there and and I just I'm not a digger. I don't like digging through stuff. So, um, but there is one in Upland. It's called Needles and Niceties, and again the guy the man that owns it is so nice, and he will call me sometimes when there's some new charts that they get. Um, but a lot of selections on older charts. It's a small shop. Um. I don't, I have never seen picture this plus fabric. If there is, it's gone when I get there. So I don't see, I'm just not crazy about the fabric selection. There is also one in the San Diego La Jolla area. I've never been there and I don't know the name of it, um, but I've heard it's a great shop. So I do want to get down there one of these days and, and check out that shop. Susan asked, <laughs> what color lipstick do I wear? I always wear MAC, almost always I wear MAC. And last video, I wore Icon is the name of the color. Um, Donna asked, oh, no, she told me about, and several people told me about the online tutorial from Sassy Jacks by Kimberly that she was is now doing online um, classes for specialty stitches. So I wanted to tell you guys about it too, because I think that's a great way to learn. I need to watch someone do it, you know, and or at least someone next to me show me how to do it. So um, it, it's a great online source. If you guys want to go to Sassy Jacks, <clears throat> Google them, check out the online course. I believe she has a YouTube as well. So I have not had a chance to go look. So it's either on YouTube or it's on their website for the specialty stitch uh, tutorial. Bobby asked, are you getting ready for your surgery? Yes, I am sort of. Um, I've got the crutches out. I've got the walker out. I, uh, as I mentioned in other videos, I had a really bad injury with the Los Angeles Police Department. I was on, I was working and um, had a really severe knee injury. So I'm getting ready for surgery number seven on my knee and um, they are going to take apart all the screws. All the, I have two buttons. I have, um, um, an artificial ligament, they're taking that off, they're taking everything off, <clears throat> and they're going to do bone grafts. Once that heals, they'll go back in and completely redo an ACL reconstruction for me. So it's a, gonna be a big surgery for me. I'm gonna be on crutches for minimum six weeks to a couple months. So yes, I'm getting ready and I just, I'm not real thrilled about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be March 16th. So I will do a video when I'm feeling better. I plan on doing a whip parade because I won't be doing a lot of stitching. It makes me, the medication makes me dizzy. And when I'm looking down at focusing on something close up, it just makes me kind of sick. So I probably won't be doing much stitching that first couple weeks. So my plan was to do a whip parade when I fill up to it. And because I did not do a whip parade this year. So I saved it. <laughs> Uh, Helma asked, oh no, she told me about a Canadian lady that designs project bags. She's on Etsy as Stitch Toolbox. I did get a chance to look. Her bags are beautiful. So um, I will be probably buying, you all know I'm addicted to project bags. So I, I will be going to Stitch Toolbox on Etsy to check her out and probably order. <laughs> Kim also told me about someone that designs uh, project bags. Hers are beautiful too. I love them, the fabrics they use. Uh, she's also on Etsy as Creative Carol Designs. So check them both out because I love um, new project bags. I love new um, designers that make them and I, I really like Etsy. Anyway, a lot of people had asked in the last video where Kathy, talking about the finishing. Um, so Kimberly asked the cost, what type of cost estimate um, for finishing. So this black cauldron, um, <clears throat> Kathy, the finisher, actually bought it. I'm going to hold this up so you guys get a good view of it. Here's the back. So you can, it is wood. Kathy said she sanded it and then she painted it. She loves chalk paint, so I'm gonna assume that she used some chalk paint. But anyway, that finish that I showed last week, a lot of people had asked where I got the cauldron from or where Kathy got it from. And she got it from woodcrafters.com. 
So she said that she loves the company. They're great. Um, so check out woodcrafters.com. And as far as price, talk to Kathy because it price totally depends on what she does and how much work goes into it. It could be that she's done a pillow. It could be that she's done, I showed a folding um, stand that she put a finished cross stitch on. It just all depends on the material cost. It So far, mine have all been between $20 $30. Uh, to, like I said, again, and I can't think offhand how much this was specifically, but like I said, she did have to buy the cauldron, and it was somewhere between $20 and $30. I want to say it was $25 maybe, $25 US dollars. So anyway, um, that answers the question as far as where did the cauldron come from and the cost. Erica, I wanted to say, I can't say enough about Black Cat Stitchery. Here's their card. I made an online order last week, two weeks ago, and I cannot even begin to tell you the customer service was fantastic. She got back to me. Erica got back to me right away. She happened to be out of town. She says, Stacy, I'm going to get to you as soon as possible. We've got your order, you know, and, and stuff. And um, she was, the customer service was great. The shipping was great. So I can't say enough about the Black Cat statu uh, Stitchery. It is in Winthrop Harbor, Illinois. So check them out online, you guys. They've got a great stash of, she, Erica had mentioned that they like uh, Lakeside Linen. So if you're looking for a color in Lakeside Linen, get a hold of them because I bet you anything they can find it for you. Another great cross-stitch store that got back to me so quick. I want to show you a picture of Sassy Jax's package real quick. Look at this package. It's like a birthday present. When I got, I, I opened it up, I'm like, oh my gosh, I get to open it like a birthday present. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was beautiful the way that they tied everything with the bow and they put the the uh, card, Sassy Jack's cards inside. I was really impressed. So this is them. Sassy Jack's is located in North Carolina, I believe. Sassyjackstitchery.com and Kimberly Young is fantastic. She also has, I, I, like I said, she does have a floss tube. And so check them out. All of these stores were just great. I also mentioned Kathy finishing my work. I wanted to show her card again uh, because I did have questions on how to reach her. So uh, she's available on Facebook, Finishing by Kathy, Finishes by Kathy. So check her out. More questions. Um, somebody asked about the Teresa Baird chart that I showed, Antrim's Folly. If you email Teresa Baird, um, I don't have her email right now. It's in the last video, and I did show the chart, Antrim's Folly. You can get the chart as long as you pay for the classroom instruction. It is pricey, and the chart is fantastic. It's gorgeous. Um, like I said, I don't think I have it here right this second. I think I filed it in my thing. Um, but it is available but you have to contact Teresa Baird and I'll put her email down in the notes below. Uh, I did not do notes in the last video because for some reason they were not working. YouTube would not let me put notes in there. So I'll try it again. I'll put Teresa's email, send her an email. If you're interested in that chart I showed last week, Antrim's Folly, again, you are gonna pay for classroom instruction. It comes in a big, thick instruction, talks to you about how to do the stitches. You just flip through it. It's got a beautiful chart with it. And um, so yes, it is. Uh, if you contact Teresa, it is available. Sheila asked <clears throat> about fancy floss and different types of silks and specialty threads. She, had, uh, she said, other than color variation, do they stitch differently? So, yes, it depends what you're using. And she asked what my favorites are. I am loving color and cotton. These floss, this floss is fantastic. The colors are so vibrant and beautiful. And um, I also love classic color works. They're one of my favorites. So the flosses are different. Each person, the person using it might think they're different in different ways. Now silks, I know I mentioned before, they can, if your hands are dry like mine, they do snag a little bit on your hands, especially my thumb. Um, they do tend to snag, but when you pull the, the silks through your fabric, it's like butter. And I'm sure all the different silks are different and, and are, they feel different, but it's like butter going through your fabric and their colors are vibrant and so beautiful. I can't say enough about the silks that I've used so far. Um, 
My friend Gina was using Gentle Arts the other day and she was getting frustrated because it was tangling on her and it was knotting up and she was just getting so frustrated. Jean mentioned that when you use Gentle Arts floss, make it shorter. Don't use such a long length of floss. If you use a shorter length, it won't snag as much. Um, so that's a great idea when using Gentle Arts or probably any other flosses too. If you're getting frustrated with your floss, cut it shorter. Don't use such a long length. But um, color variation, yes, different brands, they're all different. It's just you gotta have to kind of experiment and see what you like, what you don't like, and um, experiment and see what you think. Now, if you use a color variation, if you're looking at it, and you don't want, if you go in a straight line, or if you go up and straight and straight down, you might get striping. So sometimes, like last night I was working on it was either a perfect world or it was baby it's cold outside and I don't want the striping in my house. Some some houses would look great with striping, but this particular one I did not. So do like a checkerboard pattern. When you're when you're doing your when you're filling in a large area, don't do st your stitches side by side because you could get a stripe. Do them like a checkerboard so you get like color variation in different areas. I hope that makes sense. If you have more questions, anytime you have questions for me, feel free to ask. You could send me an email or comment. It's never a bother. Um, I'm here to answer questions. If I don't know the answer, I'm going to probably go to Jean because she knows a lot. And if she doesn't know, then we'll find the answer out. So ask anything you need, anything cross-stitch related. I have a lot, or punch needle, I can help a little bit on that. Uh, I have a lot of viewers that say that they're new to cross-stitch. So if you have questions on I was thinking this morning about some of the abbreviations that we use. Ask me, because sometimes people don't know what a, a sow is. What is a sow? A stitch along. It's a group that puts together a chart or picks a chart and stitch along together. You know, some people don't know um, some of the abbreviations for things or wording or, hey, you know, what is even weave? What does this mean? So ask me. I, I'll find the answer for you. And last but not least, I wanted to comment on Danelle's comment. Thank you so much for telling me how to pronounce cauldron. <laughs> that made me laugh. I struggled with it because I was like, what did I say? Uh, now that I have it in my head, it's like I know how to pronounce. But ca um, cauldron or cauldron, I didn't, I couldn't pronounce it. So she puts big caps, C-A-W-L, cauldron. <laughs> that made me laugh. Thank you, Danelle. Okay, a little bit of news. I wanted to tell you, Kitten Stitcher mentioned in her video, I have mentioned several times before that she does a fundraiser for animals, for her local animal shelter. If you have charts that you're not gonna use, if you have any kind of fabric you don't like, send it to Teresa because she does a great, great fundraiser. On her website, if you go to kittenstitcher.com, go to the animal section for the fundraiser, and she will take your charts, post them, and put a price, and they're discount. They're they're such great prices for these charts. You guys go in and check. I've gotten several charts from her, and uh, they're all donated from viewers. I have sent charts myself. Um, I've sent kits for other people to purchase. Those proceeds go to the animal rescue or the animal shelter. And um, she announced that this is going to be an ongoing thing because it used to be she only did it twice a year. So this is an ongoing thing. If you want her address, her email, I, I actually don't have it. I'll put it in the notes below for Kitten Stitcher. Send her an email. She'll send you her address and you can mail off stuff to donate if you'd like. But I'm so happy it's going to be an ongoing thing. And I think that's great. Other thing I wanted to mention real quick is I ordered a chart I don't have it here yet. It is Kaur Ibatakori, the cross-stitch designer. She has an Etsy shop. I ordered several charts from her a couple of weeks ago on her Etsy shop. They come from Italy. And I just wanted to tell you those guys are so honest with shipping. If you decide to go to Kaur Ibatakori, their Etsy shop to order charts, and you want to have them shipped to you, they will be... It turned out that... I did two separate orders because I, I found another chart I wanted and 
Probably, yeah, I could have ordered them here in the U.S. for cheaper shipping, but I really like dealing with them. Anyway, they combined, not only did they combine my shipping, she sent me an email and says, hey, just want to let you know that you were overcharged for shipping. And I think she refunded me like $6. And I just love the honesty, and I wanted to mention it on the floss tube today, um, that they are a great shop and uh, totally honest in the shipping. Giveaway winners. Yay, we had some winners. Number one was Color and Cotton, this beautiful hand-dyed fabric. It's called Mink. This was 18 count. It's 13 by 17, but this color is gorgeous. And the winner, let's announce these guys, of the 18 count Color and Cotton Mink is Celia Middleton. Yay! I'm so excited. The question last week was, tell me a designer that you love that you can't get enough of, or a cross-stitch shop that's your favorite. She said Blackbird Design. So Celia, you won the giveaway. Send me your address. And this time it was also uh, the random Google selector that picked everybody. Next week, I think I'll let my husband pick. He picks some good numbers too. So <laughs> anyway, congratulations, Celia. Send me an email at stacer5, S-T-A-C-E-R-5, at AOL.com. I'll send you the fabric. Such a pretty color. Number two giveaway was the Little House Needlework Spring ABCs. That's what is so pretty. Look at that little quilt down there and those rabbits. Spring ABCs winner is Kif, K-I-F, Stitches. Congratulations, you won. Her answer for favorite shop was Stitches and Things, Craft Gallery, and Cross My Heart. Congratulations, KIF, KIF Stitches, you won. Let me know your address. And the last one was a kit sent in by a viewer, Midnight Garden. It comes with the charms. It comes with the floss. It's all separated. And it also comes with the, um, the banner linen. This is such a beautiful little kit. The winner of the kit is Janice Davis. Her answer was Carol at Stitch Designs is her favorite. Congratulations, Janice. Send me an email with your address. We have new giveaways. We have two of them. I'm going to do those in just a few minutes because I'm going to show my a finish by Kathy, and I'm going to show my whips for the week. So this week we have, I have more finishes to show, but I'll do it in a couple, I'll do it next week. This one's fantastic, and I think it, other than the cauldron, it is my favorite. This is, I believe it, gosh, Jardin Privé, Halloween. Look at this finish. Isn't this beautiful? I love how Kathy cut the design. Look at how it's cut different. The little um, pumpkin. It's Beautiful, Kathy. Thank you so, so much. This is a stand. And so it just stands up on your table. I changed on this fabric. I mean, on this um, this uh, stitch. I want to say I put in sparkly. Maybe I didn't. The only thing I changed in the chart was the color of the hat. I think it was green. And I changed it to a purple. So anyway, this was another finish by Kathy that I was dying to show you guys. I cannot wait for Halloween. Can't wait to display this. Thank you so much, Kathy. Okay, let me show some whips that I worked on this week. Now, I had no intention of showing Ann Thomas every time I put a few stitches in, but I have to show you the white floss. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I am so in love with this. I have worked on it almost every day. And that's my pro let me make sure it's up right yep that's my progress this is on 32 count ale by picture this plus i love it but oops the white and this green here fantastic so when i get a page one finish i will show it again i don't want to keep showing it but just because it's got a few couple little stitches here and there in it because you're like, okay, great, she put in 10 stitches. <laughs> I actually put in a lot of stitches this week, but I'll show you when the page finish is done because it's coming up. It's almost there. I've got more to do, but I'll get it done probably this week is my plan. So I started another stitch along. 
This one is by Cutie Stitch. If you guys watch Cutie Stitches on Flosstube, it is Ingie and her daughter Chichek. And uh, Ingie has a daughter, another, another daughter, and her name is Emily. Emily was involved in a very terrible, horrific car accident when she was a little girl and is paralyzed. So Ingie asked us all to stitch in either the color blue or sunflowers in honor of Emily. Her birthday's coming up. I believe she said she was going to be 14 or 15, I think. Anyway, so her birthday's in April and I joined the stitch along. I started Kur Ibatikori. That's who I mentioned before. This is them. And the honesty they are, they have in shipping is fantastic. Anyway, I started Sunflower Farms for Emily. And I posted pictures because I want her to see the sunflowers. And I love how the blue is in here. Sunflowers, I think uh, Ingie said, is her favorite flower. So anyway, I started this. This is on 28 count Lugana. I don't, uh, wheat. I believe it's called wheat. It, oh, I showed you the back. <laughs> No one wants to see the back. I'm trying to see which way is up. Oh, I started in the bottom left corner. And this so far is my progress. It is such a fun stitch. It's cheery, it's bright, and it's so fun. So that's my progress in the bottom left hand corner. And this again is the picture. I'll show it up close because I didn't show a close up picture. Isn't that just spring and the colors are so bright and pretty? So I started that stitch along. And the last one I'm gonna show real quick is uh, Baby It's Cold Outside. Everybody's seen this chart, I think, by Heartstring Samplery. I am doing this on, I believe it's 32 count. If it's not 28, it's 32. And I dyed it myself. I put more progress in. I had to frog. Oh my gosh. I had to frog over 150, maybe close to 200 stitches. Oh gosh. But anyway, it's all fixed, all frogged, all redone. And that's my progress on Baby It's Cold Outside. I'm hoping to finish this in maybe another week. We'll see. I have to check and see how much stitches are left. Okay, um, I did jump on the bag wagon and jump, got the uh, Needlework Press book. I love filling this out every day. It is the Book of Days 2020. It's a journal. It's well, not a journal. It's a calendar. And every month is the whole month. So you don't have to flip through day you know, daily things. This is what it looks like. And what I do every day, I write down what chart I worked on and any notes that I've taken. So here's my month of February. I just barely got it, so there's nothing in January. So every day I write down what chart I worked on and I love going back to see what I worked on. I put notes in the columns here. So on the day that I started the Sunflower Farm, I started, um, let's see, I don't remember what day it was because I started a couple of days late. I started, here we go, Stitches for Emily on the 22nd of February, and I wrote the hashtag so I would remember what hashtag to use on Instagram. So any notes and stuff I put in the column and then I write down what I worked on for the for the week. It's been fun. I also have, I'll have to show it, it's a journal. So each page is a project and any notes, the fabric I used, I suppose it's, I'm doing double work on that, but I don't write anything daily down in that journal that I have. I'll show it next week. But anytime I start a new project, I write start date, finish date, the name of the project, the fabric, the floss I'm using, and that's what I put in my journal. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this because, oh no, no, no. I'm gonna show a couple of things of haul. Um, I just wanna allow enough time for the new releases. I do have several and to announce the new giveaways coming up for this video. So first of all, a little bit of haul. I had to show this bag. I got it yesterday from my mom. <laughs> Since I was sick, I didn't get to see her for Valentine's Day. So yesterday we had our Valentine's Day exchange. Look at this bag. Isn't this bag fantastic? Oh my God, it's so cute. <laughs> Look at the glasses. <laughs> I love this bag. 
Jean, if I find another one, I'm going to get you one because I, I see O'Malley in here. <laughs> here. There he is. Anyway, I love this bag. I had to show you guys. Um, I want to show, I, I decided to get a cut of 40 count fabric because I thought I'm going to try 40 count. Oh boy. <laughs> I think I'm going to need a magnifier. <laughs> wow. This is 40 count Legacy Newcastle by Picture This Plus. Isn't this beautiful? I have never had Legacy before, so I'm really happy with that. I wanted to show you guys that. Beautiful. So we'll see. Like I said, I don't know anything about magnifiers. I'm going to have to probably get one. <laughs> Coloring Cotton sent me Mink, 32 count. I was dying to get this up because I gave the other one away as a giveaway. I wanted a piece for myself. This one looks a little tiny bit more red. Just, it's got some red like blotches. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. So that is Mink, 32 count Lugana by Color and Cotton. Okay, a couple of things of haul I wanted to show. So I mentioned that I got a package from Sassy Jacks and I got Lu Miss Lucy Calcutt 1825 by Just Stitching Along. Isn't that beautiful? Can you imagine it stitched up in those beautiful reds? And this will be a start. I don't care what, I don't care how many starts I've done. I am starting this. It's so beautiful. And there's the name. So this came, this is the one that came from Sassy Jacks. So pretty. This is another one. I have to take this out because it's so beautiful. I got this from Linen and Threads. It is the Retreat, ex exclusive Retreat Sampler. When they had the retreat in 2019, I believe. Plum Street, Plum Street Sampler's My Early Days. Isn't that gorgeous? The blue. As soon as I saw that blue, I thought, I have got to have this chart. Because this has to be another start for me. I've been stitching pretty fast lately. So I'm really hoping to um, finish. i really like to finish A Perfect World. Because Seeking Refuge by um, The Scarlet House is coming out at market. And it's beautiful. So anyway, Plum Street Samplers. My early days arrived and it makes me so happy to see it. So pretty. I love that blue and the yellow. Okay, next. Color and Cotton Stratus. Now this color I have not taken out yet. You know what? It looks like it's sealed. So I'm just going to kind of show it through the paper. This is called Stratus, 32 count Lugana. I don't see a lot of modeling on it. So that looks like it's pretty accurate on the color. I also got, I don't remember where, but on Etsy for some finishing because I'm bound and determined to still try and do some of my own finishing. Look at these ribbons. Aren't they pretty? That would be really cute on some Halloween finishes. So I will try doing one and let you know how it turns out. Whether it's good or bad, I'm going to show you anyway. <laughs> this is a cute one. Oh my gosh, I love this one. I'm going to take it out. The Scarlet House Salem Hill Sampler. Look at that one. Isn't that beautiful? The Scarlet House is my one of, I mean, it's become one of my favorites. Look at that cat. He's pretty in those pumpkins. Anyway, I really, really like this one. Um. Oh, I got this one. These two. The Scarlet House Smith Sampler, which I'm sure you guys have seen, but that swan is everything. That's going to be beautiful stitched up too. I bet you it's real bright, much brighter. And anyway, that's by the Scarlet House. Beautiful. And the last one I'm going to, I think I'm going to show, oh, I'll show one more. Uh, Log, Long Dog Sampler, The Pilgrim. And you guys will know why. Look at that crow. This crow is everything. I love him very, oh my gosh. You know, I love crows and ravens, anything. So anyway, that's called The Pilgrim. I have not started a long dog and I just got the silks for Hoity Toity. It's coming from Spain. Mrs. Sadis silks. I just ordered those. Raquel is amazing to deal with. She's on Etsy. So I'll show you the silks when they come in. And again, that is Hoity Toity by Long Dog and I can't wait to start it. Okay, the last one I want to, no, I'll show two more. Um, the last one I wanted to show you 
was the stitch along. Now I can't show this the chart because it is a mystery chart, but um, Satsuma Street started the Alice in Wonderland stitch along. These are the colors. Aren't these beautiful? It is, you know what? Let me take it out. So these are the colors for Alice in Wonderland. It's a beautiful blue, light blue fabric that they recommended using. The stitch along starts today. So I did get my email um, for Alice in Wonderland and I got the first part of the chart. So I'm gonna work on that today. And that is Satsuma Street and they are on Etsy. Okay, giveaways. So the giveaways I have, I have two of them this time. And your question is going to go in comments below. Your question is, if money was no option and you can have any education, tell me what your dream job is. What would your dream job be? I have two. My dream job through growing up, I wanted to be like my dad and I wanted to be a police officer. And unfortunately I got hurt. So that was my dream job, but the other dream job I had more than any, well, I had two dream jobs. If money was no option, the um, I took flying lessons when I was in my 20s. I wanted to be a commercial airline pilot. That was my dream job. And I wanted to fly a 747. Um, but flying lessons are expensive. I worked graveyard and it just didn't work out. So that was my dream job. The other dream job I had was to be a doctor. I wanted to be a, um, I love thoracic surgery. I love the chest. I love the heart. So that would have been my dream job. If money was no option, I could have gone to school and you know college and medical school. I would have definitely gone to medical school to become a doctor. That's my dream job. So that's your question. Giveaway number one is hip hop. It is by Hands On Design in collaboration with Priscilla Blaine. And you know what, I'm gonna take it out of the, I need to do, start taking these out before I talk to you guys so you don't have to wait. Hip hop. Both charts are, both of these are included. Isn't that cute? Giveaway number one. Hi, baby. My shepherds are here with me. Baby. Hi, baby. Oh, there he is. Baby doesn't like to make appearances too often. <laughs> um, and then my other shepherd, Kiki. There he is. <laughs> They're always with me. They follow me everywhere. Okay, sorry for moving the camera. So giveaway number one. Giveaway number two is the Cross Stitcher Magazine, April 2020. Look at those balloons. Aren't they pretty? They've got some good stuff in here. And the, the insert this time is a cupcake. The insert does come, usually it comes with floss. I don't, I mean, um, oh, there is a little piece of fabric. I see it. So it's gonna come with this insert in the magazine. So if you're interested in hip hop, number one, giveaway number two, answer the question, what is your dream job? Okay guys, how about some new releases? Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. Oh, and as far as giveaways, don't mention the word giveaway. You have to be 18, we all know all this. And it's gonna go in comments below. New releases. Market is next weekend. I can't wait. I've been talking to a few people that are going and they're excited. And this is such an exciting time to be in cross stitch. So new releases. Let's start with Plum Street samplers. We have Sewn in Friendship. Cute. Next we have the Rue Crew. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. We, I, I will definitely be getting this for sure, Rue Crew. The last one is my favorite though. I'll show that in a minute. But after Rue Crew, we have Jack's Sweet Shop. <laughs> I love all of these. Plum Street, again, never fails to bring us just awesome, awesome designs. Next we have, oh, the, the first one, Jack's Sweet Shop sh with Shepherd's Pie. Next we have Noah's Christmas Ark 7, Lovebirds and Llamas. So cute. After that, we have Spring Has Sprung. Baby, I see you, sweetheart. I'm almost done. 
And after that, my favorite of all the Plum Streets, Sweetheart Hill. I will be getting this. I might even get you guys one too as a giveaway. <laughs> it's so awesome. Hi, baby. I know. I'm almost done. Go nuts. Okay, next we have Queen Queenstown Sampler Designs. These there's one that is so beautiful. It's Letitia Jane Andrews, 1836. I'm getting this one for sure. Next, we have Hannah Peniston, 1830. Beautiful. After that, we have Hannah Longstreth, 1805. Then we have Anne Curtis, 1768. We have Hester Ann Ekman, 1835. Then we have Mary Jane Sanders, 1732. Next we have Sarah Worrall, it's W-O-R-R-A-L-L, -L, 1790. And last but not least, by Queenstown Sampler Designs, we have Five Deer Sampler. Here's a new release. It is by Jardin Privé, I Love My Earth. Or in French, it looks like Jamie Ma Terre, T-E-R-R-E, Terre. -E, Beautiful, I love that one. Okay, here's another one. I'm gonna buy it, I don't care what. <laughs> it's by Fox and Rabbit Designs, Charlotte Mills, 1844. This blew me away, it's beautiful. After that, we have Charlotte Harris, 1845. And then we have Janet Burns. I didn't see a date on that one. Last but not least, by Fox and Rabbit Designs is Marianne Bush, 1838. Okay, how about some Chessy and Me? We, oh, I love Chessy and Me. We have Quaker Huswife, and that's spelled H-U-S, wife. Next, we have Sheepish Manor. Beautiful, I love these charts. Next is the Stitch Girl Sampler. So, so pretty, I love these charts. I keep saying that. <laughs> I, I've watched a lot of Floss Tube this week, and everybody keeps saying, oh my God, it's so pretty. I love it. I love it. <laughs> next is up, next up by Chezzy and me is Miss Nettie's Needle. And I'm no different. I just can't. I, everything's about, it's so pretty. <laughs> and last but not least by Chezzy and me, we've got M. Lotherington Sampler. The last two I'm going to show, the last two designers are special because they're mom and daughter. We have Kathy Barrick. And the first one is another one I'm going to buy. A-H-2-E-E. -E. So pretty. And that's just A and an H, two, T-O, and an E-E. -E. Next, we've got Eden's Dollhouse. After that, we have Sarah Hughes, 1821. And after that, Pinstruck Pin Cushions. I love all of these. Kathy's another one that never disappoints. Next up, we've got Marianne March. I have to watch that floss tube. I, Kathy and her daughter did a floss tube together and uh, I have it on my save to watch list, so I need to watch that today. Okay, next by Kathy Barrick, we have Mary Lutz, L-U-T-Z. It's pretty. And next for Kathy, we have B, like boy, B-R's Moth, M-O-T-H. We've got three more by Kathy Barrick. Uh, let's see, the next one is M. Pillet, P-I-L-L-E-T. 
and we've got visit from spot a i like this one this is so so cute another one we'll, i'll be getting Jean wants it too <laughs> that's why i almost said we're getting because we're both gonna get it <laughs> and last but not least we have Sil susan hillier 1852 that's all kathy barrick Okay, last but last, not least, this is going to be the last designer I'm going to show today. Hello from Liz Matthews. We've got Spring Tree. We have the Carnation Sampler. I just noticed I'm using my Black Cat Stitchery pen. They sent me a pen. Thank you. Uh, next, we've got Loved by You. These are so pretty. Next from Hello from Liz Matthews is Hold Fast. After that, we've got Fractor Bees. Five more. We've got AL Motif Sampler. My stomach's growling. <laughs> I'm hungry. Next, we've got Charleston. Three more. We've got uh, Yonder. Beautiful. I love all of these. Two more. Hello by Liz Matthews. Grain Sack Sampler. And last but not least, we have Bower Birds. Aren't these fantastic tarts? I just love them so much. I can't wait to hear how market goes and um, to see these charts start appearing in our needle workshops. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, guys, that's all I have for this video. Again, the, the giveaways are going to go in comments below. Answer the question, what is your dream job? Number one, hands-on design. Number two, April 2020 Cross Stitcher Magazine. I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for joining me again. I appreciate it. If um, you like the video and want to see when the next videos pop up, hit the little bell next to my name. It will That will activate the, I think you have to click all and it will give you an alert when the next videos pop up. Someone asked me about that. How do I know when your videos, when you do a video? So just hit that little bell, subscribe and put all and it should should pop up for you um, when the next video it should be next week and um, I think that's it you guys thank you so much for joining me happy stitching everyone I will see you next week bye everybody